Hi Jita. Uh, I'll try to explain uh, how we can integrate this uh, uh, WooCommerce holidays and uh, the activities as discussed. If you open this demo, this is the holiday tab that I was uh, that I was discussing uh, previously. If you click on it, it will state WooCommerce holidays. So this is what I meant. And apart from that, we have an activity section which is entirely based on Viator. So now, let me let me go through the holidays section first. So if I'll click on it. <coughs> sorry now these are the destination that has been feeded from the admin section so let's say if I select Agra and search I'll open this in a separate tab in which I'll run this Viator section now this is the result of Agra and this is all WooCommerce based. Now in the other screen I'll open uh, the activities from from TripAdvisor. So let's say if I click on New Delhi. Now you'll notice both the search screen even uh, uh, either the the WooCommerce holidays or the wire activities it looks identical even if I click on any of the the uh, tour stuff this is WooCommerce if I click on it now this shows the detail page of WooCommerce now in the other screen I'll open uh, the TripAdvisor detail page I click on it now this is uh, the TripAdvisor detail page now if you'll notice both the pages look identical you see you see so this is what I meant even the search page is identical and the detail page is identical the the booking page is not identical the reason behind is this is Viator whereas uh, this one is WooCommerce so WooCommerce has its own um, uh, booking uh, section so if I click on it it takes me to the booking section now this is the booking section whereas if I go in uh, the TripAdvisor sorry, it has add to cart section so if I click on any other date November okay this this to my number of is one. okay now this is the booking page of TripAdvisor if I click and proceed to checkout, it has a different, uh, uh, different uh, checkout system. I mean, the looks would be different. Now, this is the booking, uh, the wire to ch checkout system. So it it looks a bit different, but the hotel search page and the detail page both of these pages looks identical so what I what I suggested you is either if they click uh, they they search for any any destination and let's say if, if we have some custom package in that particular destination so what will happen is uh, the results of custom holidays would be displayed on top following with the activities section so in the same destination we'll be having uh, the WooCommerce search results and the TripAdvisor search both uh, kind of merged thing so the customer won't be able to recognize which one is the custom to package and which one is the 
provide a package so this is what I meant I'll show you an example if uh, if it helps you in an understanding so we have the same thing implemented in the hotel section so as I stated earlier hotel section is based in uh, Expedia API so if I click if I search for Jaipur we have uploaded few of the few of the custom hotels in this Jaipur section so if I search for it Now you'll notice a uh, few of the hotel has custom word attached to the hotel name for an example this custom 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 and below that you'll find the proper hotel and even this is custom the rest of the rest of the other other hotels are of Xperia so this way these are all uh, I mean these are all edited by admin so we can remove this custom this is just to recognize that this is a custom hotel similarly what we'll do is uh, we'll replace this uh, I mean uh, we'll be having the, uh, the the custom holiday packages on top following with the wider packages so we have different variations of uh, uh, listing so we have we can have this listing or we can have this listing depending on the content that you have so this this is what I meant earlier Hope you understand uh, but still if you have any questions just let me know I'll, I'll uh, make another video and uh, we'll uh, try to explain you how it works thank you